Understanding, reassessing the past, a deep dive. Hello everyone, today, we're exploring a fascinating concept, reassessing the past. This phrase might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together, making it easy to understand and use in your own conversations. Reassessing the past is all about looking back at events or decisions with fresh eyes and possibly new perspectives. Let's dive in and unravel the layers of meaning behind this powerful phrase. The phrase, reassessing the past, consists of two key components, reassessing and the past. Reassessing means examining or evaluating something again or differently from before. It implies a change in perspective, new information, or evolved understanding that prompts a second look at a situation or decision. The past refers to events, decisions, or periods that have already happened. It's the history of an individual, a community, or even the world. When combined, reassessing the past involves taking a new or different look at historical events, personal decisions, or any previously established understandings, with the aim of gaining fresh insights or drawing new conclusions. You might wonder, why is it important to reassess the past? There are several compelling reasons. 1. New information. As time goes on, new evidence or data might emerge, shedding light on events in a way that wasn't possible before. 2. Changed perspectives. People grow and change, and so do societies. What was once acceptable may now be questioned, and vice versa. 3. Learning opportunities. Looking back with a critical eye allows us to learn from our mistakes, ensuring better decisions in the future. 4. Healing and growth. Understanding the past from a new viewpoint can lead to healing from past traumas and promote personal and collective growth. Reassessing the past is not just about changing your mind, it's about engaging deeply and thoughtfully with history and personal experiences. Here are some steps to do it effectively. 1. Gather comprehensive information. Look for new sources of information or re-examine existing ones with an open mind. 2. Engage in critical thinking. Challenge your assumptions and biases. Ask hard questions about why things happened the way they did. 3. Seek diverse perspectives. Listen to voices and viewpoints that differ from your own, especially those from marginalized or previously silenced groups. 4. Reflect on personal growth. Consider how your own life experiences and growth might influence your new understanding of the past. 5. Be open to change. Embrace the possibility that your perspective on past events or decisions might change as a result of this process. Reassessing the past is a powerful tool for learning, growth, and understanding. By looking back with new eyes, we can change our perception of history and ourselves, leading to more informed decisions in the present and future. Remember, it's not about rewriting history but about enriching our understanding of it. Thank you for joining me in this exploration, and I hope this video has been insightful. Let's keep learning and growing together.